Hi, so this is a video response to a uh, comment that I saw about on a video about uh, Super Saiyan 1 versus Gear 5 Transformation Luffy, which one is more iconic? There's the X or the tweet that said that the two are very incomparable because you, uh, Super Saiyan 1 was very iconic, whereas Gear 5 is only recognizable in the anime community and yeah so my take on it is yes like super saiyan one can never be beaten cannot be surpassed in any way by gear 5 luffy like i don't even think like it's not fair to think about the time of the publication because uh without without dragon ball there would not be any of these shonen anime or the vibe would be very different because Super Saiyan, no, not Super Saiyan, just Dragon Ball as a whole has inspired a whole generation of mangaka, uh, including Oda. So it's not even fair to think about if, let's say, like Dragon Ball was released at the same time as One Piece and Gear 5 and Super Saiyan 1 happened around the same time, which one would take over, right? That's not a fair question because without Dragon Ball, One Piece would be very different because essentially Super Saiyan 1 has inspired like all of the shonen main character transformations that we've seen. Like all of them. Think of one that does I can't really. Yeah. They're all just very thematically similar which is they turn into a big badass who kicks everyone ass they essentially press the i win button but one piece is a bit different like a lot different actually the transformation gear 5 to other transformations in other series like even if we're comparing let's let's say this is my take actually, like Super Saiyan 1 can never be beaten in recognizability because one, uh, Dragon Ball 1 is very universally loved by almost everyone who exists. Like that's just a fact, it's, One Piece cannot beat that. It has, I don't know what it is, the Cold War, like post Cold War vibe to it. It's just very hopeful. But at the same time, struggling to survive, like uh, an instinct to survive, uh, has forced Goku to transform into his Super Saiyan form. He took that Saiyan poison to increase his own abilities to survive because he just saw his friend die, Krillin. And we've seen this repeated multiple times across many shonen anime but for one piece like for luffy's super like gear 5 transformation his driving force it's not his ability it's not his driving how do i say this like the thing that triggered him wasn't like that it's what it wasn't Kaido dealing the killing blow. No. Like to me, Gear 5 is a combination of himself. Like Gear 5 is Luffy. If you think you can explain Luffy as a character to someone without bringing up Gear 5, you are sorely wrong. Because Gear 5 is the peak of Luffy's characterization. He is the freest being when he's Gear 5. Now what it means for him, maybe he doesn't realize this fact or it's not the kind of freedom that he seeks. And how, how can a free man be truly free if there's still injustice around the world? I'm sorry I sound like I'm at the brink of tears because I'm really thinking about it now, but 
One Piece is Gear 5 transformation. It's kind of like the embodiment of human humans wanted of freedom. Like we have that innate drive to not just live, to not just survive, but to live truly freely. And I think that's just from the themes of things. It's just unbeaten. Like Oda's character writing. <sighs> Mind blowing. But he owes it to Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball. Which is why this is a discussion that's only fun if you don't take it too seriously. Like it's just a fun conversation, you know, you're having with a friend or a stranger online. Just remember to have fun. Like this is a good discussion to have, but we need to focus on what's truly on the core of things. This is not the looks, not the I don't know, popularity, the iconicness, because One Piece can never beat those. And we all know. We all know. Dragon Ball is always going to be that thing that when people say anime, they say, oh, Dragon Ball, you mean? They won't say like, oh, One Piece. Yeah. Oh, wait, if someone asks them, like a stranger like who is not into anime at all, they're like, excuse me, sir, do you know anime? That's always going to be Dragon Ball. Like The thing that they bring up to relate to that question is, oh, Dragon Ball. Yeah, I've seen Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's an anime. Yeah. Oh. But that's never going to be One Piece. Never. Like, think of the last time someone who is not someone who knows One Piece at all made, made a One Piece reference. Think of the last time that happened. Never. But for Dragon Ball, I can think of a bunch of times where like an NFL um, announcer, oh no, no, the commentator says like, he's going Super Saiyan, like, whatever, you know, right? What, what I mean? I don't know, I don't know, it's, I'm stupid, okay? I don't know. But I can say that for me, Gear 5 will always be the best transformation in anime history. For me. But I cannot deny the fact that Super Saiyan 1 has inspired Gear 5. And in many other ways that Dragon Ball has affected the development of One Piece. I think the most significant is the fact that Dragon Ball, in Dragon Ball, whenever Goku goes into his Super Saiyan form, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, it's cool looking, but okay, yeah, let's count four. Then Super Saiyan God, SSG one, SSG two. I I believe that's the peak. It's been a while. And then we have Ultra Instinct, which is his peak. When I when I look at Ultra Instinct Goku, I don't see Goku. I see Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, the person is not there. He's no longer the fun Goku. He's the serious Goku who only started being serious after he transformed. That's funny. I never realized that, huh? I think the last time I seen Goku had fun fighting was in the tournament. Tenkaichi Budokai, yeah. That's the last time when 
when I think when he fought Piccolo, he was angry. Second Piccolo, not King Piccolo. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm doing this off the fly. I promised that guy that if he checks in one hour, he'll get a video. So, yeah. It's not going to be well researched or anything. It's not my usual kind of thing, but I think I like... <laughs> I think I like blathering on about One Piece so much, but since this is the week that we get 25 years of build-up, like... Think about that like we have been waiting 25 years like and we don't even know what we want like zunesha knows it for 800 years oh my god like, it's all so heavy when i think back to the super saiyan transformation when i first watched that i was mm, 10 or 9 that was in 2009 i yeah. 2000 year, 2000 baby, whatever. Well, back when I watched it in 2009, I don't remember it affecting me as much as even Gear 2. Gear 2 steam was, is very similar to Super Saiyan 1 actually because he saw that he was too weak to contend with people like Aokiji. So whenever he got the time, he would develop new techniques so that he could protect his events better. And that speech I gave before, like he says, like he's no good like this. Then he said like he's glad that he's meeting his enemies this early so that he can never lose to anyone ever again. That is cold, like, oh my god, Oof. but that's here too. Yeah, let's compare Super Saiyan 1 to Gear 5. I'm a bit scattered right now, I'm sorry. I think all that I want to say have been said, and I think I, I repeated them multiple times, sorry if that bothered you, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. About this issue I'll put an update out if I found something new or if there's something I forgot to say <laughs>